have our PSO public works with our neighbor also uh, in the office, uh, uh, Honorable Joel Arumonyang. We have the IG of police who is here, IG Kome is here and his team, and many other public officials. We have the NTSA chair and the NTSA DG and, and many others. Your Excellency, let me start by appreciating everyone, everyone who heeded to our call to come for this very important occasion when we are launching our National Road Safety Action Plan for 2024 to 2028. Uh, we would never have been able to do this action plan without the support of the men and women who are here. We thank the European Union for always working closely with us to support road safety uh, measures and support NTSA uh, with all other development partners, including the World Bank, Your Excellency, who may not be here, but who have played a very important role in this very important endeavor, and whom we look forward. I think the World Bank is here, right? Uh, is there a representative of the World Bank here? Thank you very much. Maybe they are not here now, but this is a team that we have worked together to make sure that road safety is, uh, is critical. I want to thank also the Parliament and parliamentary, our Parliamentary Committee, and thank you, uh, George, for the uh, work you are doing with your committee. Uh, indeed, as the Chair said, Your Excellency, this is uh, one of the best committees, very friendly, hardworking, and they have been able to pass as many regulations and legislation. We have requested them and facilitated the Ministry to be able to do its work. So I want to thank them. I want to thank the stakeholders. Karagasha is here with the various border border industries also represented here. We have mat Matatu owners, Matatu welfare, transport uh, 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 associations who are here, different of associations who have been of immense uh, importance in terms of coming up with this very important strategic uh, um, road safety action plan. Your Excellency, uh, this is not the work of the Ministry alone. This is a sector that cannot succeed if we, we try or even attempt to do things on our own, we will not succeed. Our intention and my intention in this ministry is to make sure that we have institutionalized solutions to problems of road safety. I do not wish Your Excellency to be glorified as a Cabinet Secretary or to have measures that will only be remembered for the short period of time I will serve in this docket. It should be, Your Excellency, that we have measures that I would, I would last us, including your administration, so that therefore we have a country that reduces road carnage and road accidents, which is very painful if we think about the statistics. Your Excellency, the statistics are very, very, very uh, uh, grim and actually very telling of the very terrible behavior we have as citizens of this country. To be losing between 4,000 to 4,600, the highest was 2022, uh, 4,600, and if we had gone at this rate in this year, perhaps we were going to surpass that number. And Your Excellency, every year to lose those people, and again to lose, to have about 20,000 critical injured people that you have in our hospitals, and it, is, it doesn't hurt us to know, and, and we don't feel really the pain enough to know that, all the hospitals across the country, especially level five and above, have wards that are called border border wards. You know, Your Excellency, where you have people who are critically injured. We have bills. We all know in our neighborhood that we'll be paying bills of up to, um, you know, four, five uh, million per accident and you lose the person and you pay a higher bill, Your Excellency. It is estimated by the Minister of Planning that we lose about 450 billion annually, which is 5% of our GDP, Your Excellency, to road accidents because the pressure that it gives in the, in the hospitals, the pressure that we go through because of these road accidents. And I think that this is a, something that should worry us. I was telling Kenyans the other day that we should have our anger sustained every day. Because we have a situation where when we have road accident, like we had uh, a, a few grisly road accidents in the last one month, you have national outreach, and everybody in the country is looking for somebody to blame. And usually the issue is the target is the cabinet secretary. And Your Excellency, that outreach just lasts one week. When a new agenda comes, people move to something else. If we were outraged enough and angry enough each one of us would do something every day to make sure that our roads are safe because the greatest causes of accidents is recklessness. The most important actor in road accidents, Your Excellency, is the driver and the rider because that is the man or woman who has the greatest control 
on whether or not they are going to sort out the problem of, of road accident. And therefore, in this strategic plan, the driver and the rider are at the center of this strategic plan, Your Excellency. We are talking about what we do to be able to train these uh, drivers. I agree with the Chair and thank you very much because that comes from the sector that is extremely important that we are training our drivers for only two weeks sometimes one week. Your Excellency, it's even worse for border border riders, for motorcycle riders. Many of them, Your Excellency, go to the nearest foot, football pitch or they go to the nearest wheat farm or the next, next nearest maize farm. They train one afternoon and the next day they are carrying an entire family, Your Excellency, without a driving license, without Your Excellency being checked. This is a sector that we have said that in the strategic plan we must train our drivers well, we must train our riders and we must hold them accountable, Your Excellency. If this area is sort sorted as we have talked with Matatu owners, including BRT system, we've been talking with Sakaja, among others, we are going to double or triple the people who are going to be employed when we uh, eventually agree to organize this sector. Your Excellency, we want to protect the driver. Most of these drivers cause accidents because of fatigue. The Matatu owners and the business people are the ones who are telling them that you don't have a salary. But if you can give me a return tonight of 40, uh, of 1 million, whatever is on top, it is yours. If you give me a return of 400,000, whatever is on top is yours. So the driver is driving, you know, running helter skelter around the city, around the country, trying to meet the targets of the Matatu owner so that they can have something on top of it. Yet the law speaks to the opposite, that a driver can only work for eight hours. These people are not in properly organized employment. They do not have NSSF, they don't have NH NHIF. We want to work with the owners to make sure that the drivers are organized. They can only work for eight hours, Your Excellency. And that means, therefore, instead of one driver working for 16, 18 hours, we are able to employ two people to carry out the responsibility that can be done, uh, uh, Your Excellency, as a, as a driver. So the driver is at the center of this conversation. The, 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 the rider is at the center. We want our drivers to accept that this is a job. This is a very important job. The government of Kenya today was formed because we told the people of Kenya that dignity of work is very important, that we must respect the people from bottom up, that if you are a driver, we value you. If you are a rider, we value you. In any case, His Excellency the President was elected by hanging around border border riders and drivers and people who are considered lowly in society. We want you to live in dignity. But if you must live in dignity, you must also partner with us for us to help you to have a dignified life, you must also respect yourself, to love your job and to do it in the right way. You know, if you are a border border rider and you respect yourself, you will have a helmet. If you are a border border rider and you respect yourself, you will respect, respect your machine. If you are a, a matatu driver, you will dress well, you will come to your job, you respect your machine, you respect your life, you want to live long. If it starts from there, then the government of Kenya partnering with you can help you in it through the... Uh, uh, um, the financial mechanism that has been put in place, a hustler fund, we can move further to ensure that we source funding for you to start your business. We can move further to do many other things. And Your Excellency, since this strategic plan puts partnership at the center, I want to request our drivers and riders work with the ministry to solve this issue. The other very important partner, Your Excellency, is the county government. I have requested Your Excellency in writing that the next summit considers road safety as its most important agenda. Your Excellency, we have 2.5 million motorcycles in the country. About 1.8 million are active. And these active uh, border border riders, Your Excellency, need to be organized. We will not be able to organize them at, the, at Nairobi. These are transport mechanism of last mile. And as Honorable Sakaja has said, during the next summit, Your Excellency, under your leadership, let us discuss how to empower the counties, including, Your Excellency, the resources we will raise from instant finding and other mechanisms being sent to county governments to help them do road safety. Let them define where the border border riders will operate from. Let them define the, the registration of border border riders. For Honorable Sakaja to sort security in this city, he must be able to manage border border sector and i believe your excellency in the next agenda as part of the strategic partnership you will help us to make sure that counties i would have expected that this meeting 
because of the greater outrage we had, you know, in the last one month. Every county leader and at least the Council of Governors would have considered this function extremely important because if we are going to sort the road accidents issue, we have to deal with border border. You know why, Your Excellency? The leading cause of accidents in the country is border borders now. 2000, the year 2000 to 2008, it used to be the public transport vehicles and private vehicles. But today, we lose the percentage of loss that we have. 38% of the people we lose, Your Excellency, are pedestrians. 32% are border border riders. And Your Excellency followed now with the passengers who are 26% caused by PSV vehicles and private vehicles. Meaning, therefore, that if we have to reduce accidents, including the pedestrians that are knocked every day in the city of Nairobi and other parts of the country, we have to sort out the border border sector because that is important. And the question we should ask ourselves, how come our neighbors, our neighboring country, has managed to organize border border sector that everybody dutifully is able to wear a helmet your Excellency, including the passenger. Now, if you come to Nairobi and you tell our Nairobi queens that you need to wear a helmet, they tell you, oh, it's smelling, or oh, it's messing up my, my hair, Your Excellency. Which is more important, your hair or your safety? And it is proven, Your Excellency, that if you have an accident with a helmet, you are likely to survive, Your Excellency, because most of the injuries go to the head, and they are the most uh, uh, difficult injuries also to, uh, to, 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 to deal with. Your Excellency, um, we have... In this uh, strategic uh, uh, st plan, Your Excellency, in this plan, we have put technology on the forefront. Your Excellency, thank you very much because you have been calling every day to find out where are we with the instant finding system. Thank you, Your Excellency, because on your travel to Korea, as your first travel in the first year, you managed to secure and support a fund that will ensure that we have ITS system in the Nairobi city, Your Excellency, in uh, uh, about 80 junctions. Thereafter, in your trip to China, you also negotiated a fund, Your Excellency, we are going to have another 200 junctions on ITS system in Nairobi city. You will, we will welcome you, Your Excellency, to come to the Coras headquarters to see the pilot project, what it does, and what resources we are going to raise through enforcement instant enforcement of traffic. We are in the tail end of negotiations and conversations with the private sector. We should be able